right, I do have a question about one of the parts though that you were using in that video. Um, you referred to it probably three or four different times, and and this is the part. What is that? That's not one out of that rear end. Uh, it's what is that part called though? I think you called it a washer. There, the washer. This is not big enough for what. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is when I've done videos in the past, and when I show a washer, yeah, everybody tells me these are called washers. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Wash W A S H. You know, it's all where you come from, I guess. <laughs> and I've learned that all my life. You never get too old to learn, see, and I'm 81 year old. I wanted to clarify that for everybody watching this video. Well, when they comment, how do they spell it? W-A-R-S-H-E-R. -E <laughs> Washer. Those War people doing that must be from Michigan. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as always, the thing is, pay attention to every part, how you took it apart. Lay it out part by part the way you took it apart. You can put it back together exactly the same way. Guys, if you want to know more about this hydrostatic transmission on this hydro gear transmission, welcome to the Bald Eagle 242 YouTube channel. Hydrostatic. I'm sure everybody's heard the word hydrostatic, the old hydro gear. Anyway, here's an exploded view of all the goodies. All the goodies. Everything that makes it go cleaned up ready for reassembly had a problem of course wouldn't move funny thing is everybody sucks all the oil out of the uh, gearbox leaves all the sludge in the bottom of the pan right where the filter is this little guy right here that right there now you see how fine that mesh is and you got that laying down in the uh, oil with all that sludge you're gonna leave when you suck the oil out and you fire it back up with brand new oil, it sucks that stuff back up and fills that filter up again. In a week or two, it's going to do the same thing again it was doing to start with. So, you need to take it apart, clean it, get all that junk out of there. And the darn thing, uh, this, there's nothing wrong with this rear end. It's just a normal wear and tear over a lot of 400 and some hours. It's just grinds down the places that I don't know really where it comes from but there's, there's nothing wrong with it there's a, a few little scrapes you can see a little bit of scraping going on here nothing really there's nothing wrong with that surface to keep that from working looks like it's been hot heat from overheating because it had so much grass build up where it hadn't been cleaned it hadn't been uh, pressure washed in years an 06 this is a 2006 Husqvarna we'll get back to you and show you more on this we got another one over here yeah one in the vise that's completely still assembled it actually broke a bolt broke a bolt on the control shifter that bolt right there and on this side yeah that bolt broke off that goes in there that's the direction it went back and forth makes it forward and reverse forward and reverse I gotta tear that one over there down actually it tore this one down to get the part to go in that one over there, but that one over there is a good rear end. It's got to go in this Husky barn. Interesting project. Anyway, here we are, ready to go back together with it. Now, I'm going to take this part back out of here just to show you. See, all those little pistons, all those little guys just love to fall out. And there's a spring, and there's that's the piston that makes your pump work. We're going to, I'm going to show you how to put that back in there. It's easy. But then again, there's this little washer and bearing that likes to hear it flopping around in there. Well, it ain't going nowhere. So what you got to do is turn this and this, kind of drop them in on each other. Now we got that in there. We're going to put it back in the vise. Try to get it around here to where I can get the most of my light and you can see now that uh, the little guys that right there is what you want to see and now we can the other part it's the real tricky part getting that all back down in here the whole assembly you got to remember the filter goes to the bottom 
piston assembly you just put in go, goes against this. It goes against this right here. So we're going to shifting arm goes up here so that goes out. Hold all that together. That'll help you if you can. And you're going to put that up here. Gradually slide this in there. And hopefully it don't all come apart. Now this is all spring loaded up here too, so it's not going to want to cooperate. You got to make it cooperate. Drop a drop a screw in there just to hold it in place. And tighten it up, guys. And when you do, you can't just force it in there. But you, you got to have it to where it works before you force it. And down inside here, this shaft, you remember on the other end, it didn't have this rusty end on it. Well, that shaft has got a bushing down there it's got to go in. Get that in place down there. All right, so you pop it, it'll pop right in place. Now, your uh, screws there should be free. I don't like to take the impact to it. I got one laying there and I hate not to use it. I hate a video too where somebody sits there and screws 20 screws up. This is kind of a touchy little situation here and I'd rather take a little longer to do this than to mess it up trying to rush it. At least I'm not using a ratchet. You watch these videos and you hear that right click, 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 boy. 20 screws, click, click, click. Now we're trying to pull this dude into place down there, and I'll tell you, this seems to, this seems to be going so easy, it's really scary. Now, what I do with these, I get this all lined up, get this mechanism all in place. And once you get it tight in there, it locks itself in. And once you get it locked in, you can back it, back the bolts out, put Loctite on them. There's a lot of commotion going on right here. Big bolts. That's because of the commotion. And they put that commotion lotion on here to keep it from flying apart. I'll tell you what find out this shaft goes in up here let's just find out how good we are doing that in there if these see if these are going to line up huh can you believe that how about that we're right into that pump now straight in you know what there's one more remember that one i showed you how to uh force it out yeah i said force I used all these horses, them on top of there, and, and pull that whole mechanism out of there. And if you don't have a seal, you can usually get lucky and pull the seal out too, and don't, don't damage it. If you get it up to the top of the housing, get it up to the top of the housing, you can't force it to all the way out, but you get it up there where you can get it, play with it, get it the rest of the way out anyway. Now, here's another thing on this shaft. There's a washer. The washer goes here in the spring. Don't forget, you definitely need that. Now, I'm not going to put it in on there right now, the washer in the spring, because all I'm doing right now is making sure we're lined up. Look at that. Thing fell right in, fell right in there like it was supposed to. Now, of course. Yeah, there it is. But now remember, there's supposed to be a washer and a spring on here. Just like that. That goes right in there. Push your bearing all the way in. And it's tapered on the end. If you haven't got it lined up, it'll line itself up pretty much. But take a... Take your wooden mallet or something. Pack it. Don't uh, beat on it with a hammer. Everything's fine. And again, it turns. A little persuasion helps sometimes, but it turns everything's fine.
Guys, I hate to end a video like that, but unfortunately the video that he took on that transmission was on a cell phone that he turned in when he got a new cell phone. So I have no way to get that footage back. Now, with that said, we do have that second transmission that he showed you earlier in this video. I'm gonna try to get together with him so we can do a recording together so I can record what he's doing and really take you through this step by step. Happy Father's Day to any fathers out there. We're making this video on Father's Day weekend. I'm hoping to get this posted Sunday morning for Father's Day. And guys, I really do appreciate it. If you stuck around this long, consider hitting that subscribe button. Until next time, thanks for watching.